One thing that is incredibly uh, interesting is you've proposed that Donald Trump be nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize, but your, your reasoning, I thought, was very interesting. Care to explain for people who aren't? Well, look, Obama got the Nobel Peace Prize because the committee thought he was so nice and yeah. so lovely that he'd do great things as president. So he got a Nobel Peace Prize for what they thought he might do. This president is actually doing stuff. And OK, I know in the last 48 hours, uh, you know, Rocket Man, Kim, uh, <laughs> is, is, is so, oh, you know, I might not go if you demand total <laughs> denuclearization. But look, already, what you yeah, absolutely, but what the president's achieved by firstly by talking tough, by not appeasing bad people, what he's also achieved by persuading China that they absolutely have to put proper sanctions on North Korea. Right. Already, you know, we, we've had a summit between North Korea and South Korea. Um, there's going to be a meeting. The Singapore meeting will happen. So I think the president is making stuff happen. And if anyone deserves a Nobel Peace Prize, it's him. And so after the summit, I'm going to go to the European Parliament and start a petition to ask European politicians to sign it. I mean, it could be quite a small signature list. Yes. But I think it's... Yes, but it's the right thing to do. And it puts them in a corner because talk about uh, losing faith in your institutions if you oh, compare gosh. this. Although, to be fair, President Barack Obama did have a beer summit with that, that uh, police officer and that black guy. I remember that because they preferred Blue Moon. That was a big deal here in the United States. So baby steps. <laughs>